Hi, I'm George from Green Feathers, and I'm here today to talk to you about our 4K Bird Box camera and how to set this up. The start point, as with all of our cameras, is the setup guide. It's got loads of great hints and tips on how to get the best out of your camera. So have a read through before you start setting things up. The first top tip that we have is when setting up your Bird Box camera, you wanna get it working inside your house first. So sit down inside the sitting room, the kitchen, wherever, and get a video feed working on your TV before you take your camera down the garden. That way, if you do need to change anything around, it's really easy to do and you know it's working. The start point with this is that we need to establish the correct end of the cable. The end with the male jacks on it is the end that goes towards the camera. This is the male RCA, the male power jack, and then the female BNC connection. That goes towards the camera. And we're going to connect this up. On here, as you can see, you've got a female power jack that goes in. You've got an RCA audio connection. And then you've got the BNC video connection. And that pushes and twists into place. That's your camera connected up. Now, with the opposite end of the cable, going towards the TV set and the HDMI converter, we're gonna connect this up. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to connect the power. This is clearly labeled for camera and it has the power jack on it. We pop that into the cable as such, and the other end gets plugged into the mains. The next bit that we move on to is the 4K to HDMI converter. This takes the video input in and converts it into an output that your TV can understand. And that's that HDMI connection that all TVs nowadays have a standard. What we're going to do firstly here is on the end, we've got video in, and that's where we need to connect the twist on connection for the video onto this one. Again, pushing it on and twisting it till it clicks into place. This little video converter needs power to it to work. And this is on the opposite end. Supplied with the kit is a little micro USB unplug to connect it up and it goes into the five volt DC connection. Again, the other end goes to the power. The next bit that we then need to do is we need to take the HDMI cable and plug that in to the HDMI converter and the other end of the cable goes into the TV set. Now that we've got everything connected up from our camera to our TV and the power going into all the devices, we just need to change the input or the source on our TV. On our TV, it's the source here. And we're going to select this HDMI input. And there we go. We've got our 4K image onto our TV. If you want more information, about this camera, click the link to the video here. And if you want more information or help, please go to green-feathers.co.uk forward slash help. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. <laughs>